the, the tension in the French Parliament is much higher than this uh, than this fall. Uh, actually, uh, previously, just after the election of Macron, you remember that uh, Macron doesn't get an absolute majority of the seats, and we have a very very difficult situation because it's only a relative majority that Macron gets in the parliamentary election. So, uh, just after. This, uh, they, they've got a very easy topic that was uh, convincing the opposition to vote on the question of purchasing power. That was the very easy task. But now it's the very difficult task for the French government, which is now facing major reforms, like reforming the pension system, reforming the unemployment benefits, and now the situation is very, very tense. Uh, the French government is probably going to be obliged to use a constitutional mechanism which is making possible for the government to stop the parliamentary discussion for the vote for the next budget of France. So it is very likely, and we are expecting that uh, Elisabeth Borne, the French Prime Minister, she's going to be obliged to engage the responsibility of the government to make the budget of France to be adopted by the parliament. Uh, Bruno, thank you very much indeed for clarifying uh, the outline of the story. Look, I'm pretty sure, and, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, a lot of these aspirations from the president were things he wanted to do in his first term rather than his second term, including the reform of the pension system as well. I appreciate that events have been uh, pretty tough during his first term, of course, with COVID and what have you. But, but will he have any more luck with pension reform now, especially since, considering he doesn't uh, control the French National Assembly? Um, when Macron gets to the re-election uh, this year, Macron explained to the French that he's going to make a very different mandate, that it will be no longer what we were calling Jupiter, the executive which is uh, governing uh, by uh, with very straight uh, lines, and that Macron explained to the French that he's going to try to convince the opposition to try to find a uh, majority on ideas, rather than ideological opposition. But Macron is in a difficult position in the beginnings of the mandate. It is absolutely not clear what is the main policy direction of the next of the mandate of Emmanuel Macron. Uh, five years ago, it was very easy. It was a young president which wants to reform structurally France by reforming the labor market, by reforming the legislation on the labor, by reforming the pension system. So Macron, the pro-European, which want to reform the country that doesn't like the reform. That was the basic story five years ago. Nowadays, the story is much complex because the second mandate is always much more difficult. Um, Macron doesn't surprise any longer the French, and, and also he doesn't get a majority. So the main feeling today is that we, Macron is a little bit lost. He would like to continue to be Macron the reformist, but he hasn't a majority in the parliament, an absolute majority at least. So, uh, with all the crises that we have been seeing in France, from the yellow vest to the COVID, now with the Ukraine, with the price of energy, the situation is very, very tricky for Macron, and we can't see really where Macron exactly wants to go.